advocates for climate action have called on the federal government to be transparent in using funds here marked for revitalization of arid lands and general environmental resuscitation. This was made known earlier today in Abuja at the commemoration of the climate emergency day aimed at speeding up the process of saving the earth from effects of climate change. Here's more on the story. It is believed that action to mitigate climate change and keep global warming below 1.5 degrees Celsius needs to be done within seven years to be successful. As a result of this, climate action advocates have outlined plans to raise awareness and carry out the processes necessary to save the earth. Climate Clock in Abuja on Friday called on Nigerians to make personal commitments to a greener future. The essence of this press conference is to speak to world leaders, African leaders, you know, individuals, community leaders, the local persons, everyone, you and I, saying that it is time to act now, and not just to act now, to act in time to avert the worst climate actions that can happen. So you might ask, how do I act? What do I do? There are various initiatives and objectives of climate change that we have been talking about. Uh, we're talking about plastic pollution. We've talk, talked about um, em emission of gas. We've talked about um, alternative energies. So you can play your own part to create an awareness on climate change in your environment. Other advocates and activists mounted pressure on the federal government to account for funds released for environmental projects. When we're having this such conversation, most of these political leaders are not environment inclined. Some of them don't even understand what this environment is talking about. So I think the, one of the uh, ways that we civil society organization can continue to engage these political parties or individuals that are contesting is to engage them through the Climate Change Act. Because if any of us have taken or looked through this Climate Change Act, we've been able to understand that it has actually shown us the roadmap and the pathways to how we can solve environmental problems in Nigeria. And if you look at the Climate Council they want to set up, is part of every, even uh, people living with disabilities is also active for position. And everybody needs to be part of it. So we need to push the government, whether it's the present or the incoming, to make sure that the Climate Change Act is almost eight months now and nothing is happening. Professionals were urged to use their craft to spread the message of climate change action and push for beneficial policies in that regard. I as a brand, I as SDG's ambassador, I'll put it upon me to make sure that I use my brand and the opportunity God gave me, my voice, to pass this message across our locality because that's where it matters a lot. That's where we need this 17 point agenda of SDG to go through. You drink water, water, and by the time you finish taking your bottle of water, you flip the bottle out of the window. No. Responsible practices. Take that bottle, put it in a location where it can be picked up and recycled. The actions that we take with regards to climate emergency and climate action are not, are not supernatural. They are everyday things. From the sachet water that we drink, those things can be recycled. You know, From the emissions that we have from our vehicles, it only behoves on us for us to be responsible. The first official climate emergency day is said to be a moment for speaking out and demanding action.